How's it going, everybody? This is one Adam George with Red Carpet Report. We're here at the SAG Foundation with the cast of Grimm, 100th episode. It's been a long run. Let's meet some people. Thanks for coming out here. Oh, well, thank you for coming out. Yeah, no, this is cool. I, you know, I know 100 episodes can be like, you know, <laughs> Mama said there would be days like this, but yeah, this is cool. Well, since you brought it up, what has that been like for you? You know, honestly, it, it's it's been a it's been a it's been a joy. It's been a blessing. It's uh, it's gone so fast. You know, um, I, I honestly, you just don't think it would ever come to the point where you're in a show that becomes so you have a cult following. It comes somewhat iconic, and that you are uh, known for you know one singular role in one singular show. Um, but but really what it's been more for me is the experience you know um, what I enjoy most about working on the show is is the experience of what happens before action and after cut of just being on set every day and really you know looking forward to coming to work and really trying to put down your level best every day you know and that's you know as an actor you know you spend so you to you toil for long trying to get a job and then you get one and then you can easily take it for granted you know what I mean? And a lot of people have, and I try not to do that, which is why I focus more on the time spending with the other actors, the time spent with the crew, meeting you know the guest stars who come up, uh, you know, just learning about other people and just the city itself, and just enjoying my time there. And uh, because when it's over, it will end at some point. Uh, I want to be able to say that that I had fun, you know, which I think is most important. I can do it. Yeah, you know it's an interesting character. I mean, definitely your character has gone through stages. Yes, you know from being seduced from Madeline to seeing your first lesson to yeah. all the steps, and then now how you really are just kind of you're leading the team while right. niggas off doing his next stuff. Right, right. So that journey for you. Well, you know the thing is it, it it evolves. You know what I mean? I think Hank goes how Russell goes. You know, I mean, you know they started off and there wasn't necessarily a defined character, if you will, you know what I mean, um, that wasn't fully drawn. And so I had to create him. And so we, um, so it changes, you know what I mean, it evolves over time. And so, you know, how I change and evolve is how he changes and how Hank changes and evolves, you know. Um, his manner, his way, uh, how he walks, how he talks, how he approaches uh, certain situations, you know, uh, certain dangerous situations are going to be different now. You know, and it's not necessarily a mandate coming down or something that's on paper, but it just it's it's a feeling. You know what I mean? And so I have to sort of go with the ebb and flow and take a more um, uh, I guess, you know, spiritual approach to like how I'm gonna, you know, you know, how I'm gonna work, you know, in a certain way, you know, and sort of uh, you know, find my my way, find my um, my space. You know, uh, like, with the cast and with the characters. And right. Um, I just so you know, like a little bit about myself. You know, I'm from Chicago. Okay. Uh, my father was African American. He uh -huh. was a police officer for a time. What is the experience like, and how is it for you being essentially the only African American mm -hmm. character in the show, in the world of the show, for the most part, and just kind of blazing the way and keeping it moving, and while, while still making it a, 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 an ensemble thing. Well, you know, I, I, I think that the most important thing for me, and this is what I always try to do, is be as genuine and authentic as I can. Be genuine as a, authentically black, be culturally specific in who I am. And I think that's why, that's what people, I think that's what people appreciate about the character. That's what they appreciate who I am and what I bring to him. I don't shy away from my blackness. I don't shy away from my cultural specificity. I don't shy away from the fact that, you know, I talk with a certain, you know, way or I like, I, I, I walk with, you know, with some swag or something like that because that's who I am. And I, and I can't uh, homogenize me. And so therefore I'm not going to homogenize the character. And I think, and so when I, if you do that, um, I think that that you get. Uh, I think I feel like I get a lot of uh, a certain amount of respect for being able to tell that truth. You know what I mean? I think that is important, and I try to tell all actors that of color or all black actors, you know, be yourself. Don't shy away from who you are. Don't shy away from your culture. Don't shy away from your roots. You know what I mean? Like how you talk, how you walk. Like that is you. Be authentic. And every other culture or every other can can do them and be them, which they should. You know what I mean. So be you. So I'm 
So I'm going to I'm gonna honor my roots that come that came from the South. I'm going to honor, you know, came up here. I'm going to honor collard greens and cornbread and, and chitlins and watermelon. You know what I mean? I'm going to honor that. You know, I'm going to honor my grandmother. I'm going to honor my family from Pittsburgh. I'm going to honor all of that. You know, I'm, I love August Wilson. You know, I love his work. I've done a lot of his plays. I'm honoring those people, too. You know what I mean? I'm honoring the least of these. That's important to me. And so to see that, in my opinion, becomes a revolutionary act in itself. To, do, to have the courage of your convictions, to have the confidence to stand on, on, on the terra firma and say, this is who I am, unapologetically, is a, is a revolutionary act. And, and whether, whether people know it or not, or can understand it, or can articulate it, when young kids, when black kids see that, when black girls see that, oh, yeah. that's a revolution, and that says something, that speaks, that emanates right through that television into their soul, into their spirit, and says, mm, that feels right, that looks right. You know what I mean? I think that's important. And, when, and, I, and I also think that when you do that, that's when you get respect from you know your peers. You get respect from everybody because you are being who you are. You have there's there's a ton of imposters out there. There are dime a dozen. You can go get you one, but there's only one of you. There's only one of me. So why would I want to come off and play like be somebody else that I'm not when they can they go out and get an imposter? You know what I mean? You can get an approximation of some other brother who's not. But yeah, but no. But that's not. But another thing is people don't like that. People understand what authenticity looks like. They may, it's, it's, it's that thing, what do they talk about? It, what is it? You don't know what it is, but I see it, I know what I feel it, I can touch it, but that's it. That's, that, that's what that is, right? That's authenticity. They see it, they, they, when they hear it in the music, you know what I mean, they, they feel it in their bones, that's it, that's the authentic, right? And so people know it when they see it. And what do they do? They follow it. Yeah. They want more of it. They appreciate it. They appreciate it. it. Yeah, but they don't. They they're not going to sit there. And not, they can't necessarily articulate that it's authentic. They just go, it's right here. Yeah. So you know that's important to me. I don't know if that even answers the question. <laughs> but, you know. <laughs> no, definitely, man. And it was fantastic talking to you. I definitely right look forward to seeing you on that show. I I'm appreciate fan. it. And when I see you on the screen doing your thing, man, I get. Cool. It feels good. So you, you you live out here now, or are you? I live here now. Oh, right on. Okay. Well, good luck with everything. What are you trying to do? Right. Okay. Right next. Oh, good. Good, man. Good luck with everything. Thank you, man. You know, as, as they say, you know, you're in the world now. You know what I mean? We're all peers. We're all in it together. You yeah. know what I mean? There is no hierarchy, in my opinion, anymore. You know what I mean? Once you, we get out of school or once we make that leap to say, I want to be a professional, we're all here together. You know what I mean? I'm trying to fight the good fight. That's all we can do, bro. All right, excellent. Good luck, man. Thank Pleasure. you very much. Please success. How's it going, everybody? Thanks for watching. This is the Red Carpet Report. One Adam George, Grim, 100th episode. Make sure that if you haven't already, subscribe to our videos. If you liked us, give us a thumb up. And in the comment section below, write down what was your favorite part, your favorite character, your favorite actor. If you watch the show, what's your favorite lesson? Let us know. Share your love. For me, it's Blue Blots. Fuchsbau, all the way. Thank you very much.